In this video, I'll be demonstrating how I decorated my Disney pin trading board. I wanted to display my pins I have had so much fun collecting over the years, and will continue to collect. My lanyards were getting full, and I didn't want to house them away in a binder, out of sight. Scouring Pinterest and blogs, I came across hundreds of possible ways I could have done this, and I had probably 10 ideas I wanted to attempt, but I could only do one for now, so I kind of picked my favorite aspects and went with something fairly simple and inexpensive, because honestly, i rather spend my money on more pins. The supplies I use are a fine grain cork board, multi-surface paint in the colors of my choosing, paint brushes, pencil and later I used a marker, templates, you can print them out, probably. I used a needlepoint ring and a lampshade. I'm using cardboard shapes for accents, but you can use stickers or anything else or nothing at all. This part is completely optional. If you do use some accents, you might need a hot glue gun, super glue, or regular glue to affix them to your board. Here are the steps I took to decorate. Of course, make your board your own. Before you begin, make sure your pins will go through the cork okay. Start by painting the cork board. I knew I'd be adding the silhouette, so I'm not going all the way to the edge. Why waste paint? Let the paint dry. Draw the Mickey shape. I'm using things I had around the house. I think they worked well. I'm using pencil first. Notice how I'm measuring out the ears. I want both small circles to overlap the larger circle at an equal distance. Now outline and marker. This helped me stay in the lines when I painted. Paint the shape. I switched to a smaller paintbrush for more control in the corners along the frame and close to the outline of the marker. The magic of Disney is not complete without a pixie dust trail, or some kind of fireworks, or glitter swirl, and that's what I'm painting here, with some silver glitter paint. Wait again for it to dry and then paint the frame. I had to use three coats for my frame. Adding my cardboard cutouts to the corners for a little something extra. Decide if you want to put hooks in your board to hang the lanyards or a little pouch for the pin bags. Lay out your pins. You don't want to pin them yet. Once you are satisfied with your layout, start pinning one by one. My cork board came with its own hardware, but I ended up using Velcro command strips instead. 
Now, enjoy your decorated work of art and prettily displayed Disney pins.